Hey everybody, welcome. If you're new here or if you are one of my faithful followers, I appreciate you greatly. Um, today I'm going to be working with some new alcohol inks that I, I purchased from Dryer Days Art Studio. Um, these are part of her new Color Joy collection as well as um, the Adirondack Silver Mixative. I'm also going to be using my blending solution, 91% alcohol or higher, and some cleanup solution at the end. I'm also going to be using this Conair br brush blow dryer, but I've taken the attachment, the brush attachment off, and so it's just an open end there. I saw this being used by Miriam at Miriam's Nature and um, there was one other YouTube artist and I can't remember her name it was Linda I believe but um, I will uh, try to remember that and give her credit in my description um, so I have had some difficulty <laughs> getting started using this um, hair dryer for the first time and I'm pretty new at using alcohol inks to paint with. I um, started my artistic career as an acrylic artist and um, quickly moved into resin and watercolor um, and other types of inks but and I've used alcohol inks in my resin projects mixed in resin but this is um, a fairly new news for me to be painting with them but um, these colors are just absolutely gorgeous I did not dilute them in alcohol before using them um, I really wanted to just go for it I wanted vivid color and um, in the end I really think that I actually really liked the product at the very end of um, my playtime here. So um, I wanted to kind of get that disclaimer out there to you and make you aware that this is a pretty new process for me and um, but I wanted to give um, these new alcohol inks um, a real go and Every time I use them, I'm just more and more blown away by how vivid the colors are and how they stay true. Um, they just hold their color even with all of the additives that you're, you're using with them. And um, that, in my book, is pretty, pretty amazing. So as far as alcohol inks go, I think that the Color Joy Collection is pretty phenomenal and I would not give any type of recommendation unless I was very happy with them and I want to be very clear about that I am an affiliate with dryer days but again if there's something that I'm not happy with I'm not going to um, use my channel as a way to promote them um, if I wouldn't use it in my own work. Um, so I'm struggling with the heat source or the, the air source here, um, probably because it's my first time and I'm not really sure um, if I'm using it correctly. So any suggestions in using it? would be greatly appreciated. You can leave those suggestions down in the comments. Uh, I would really appreciate um, any extra support there that you can give. You can see that just, just having a hard time moving them around. Um, later on you'll see it's a little bit easier for me, but um, Initially, it's, it's been a little bit 
a struggle. And I almost gave up on recording the video, and I'm glad I didn't because, um, as I said again, in the end, I was very happy with how it turned out. And I think it's helpful, especially for new artists or at least new to the medium, to see that sometimes there's more than one way to achieve uh, a pleasing look. I do apologize for my ring light glare and my studio lights above um, can be kind of hard to control them. Alcohol inks are, are shimmery anyways and leave a sheen on the paper. But I hope that you can see enough, especially when I pick it up, that um, you're getting something out of the video. I found that these alcohol inks um, lended themselves very well to the Adirondack or Tim Holtz um, blending solution. Worked very well with it. Uh, as well as the cleanup solution from Pinata. I highly recommend using a Lazy Susan if you have one available. Um, it would lend itself nicely to um, this type of work. And of course, I didn't think about it until I just am watching it now as I'm doing my voiceover, but um, it would be a great idea. Note to self. <laughs> So you see now that I've kind of put my um, air source down and I'm picking the paper up and I'm literally just um, folding over the paper and moving the inks about, <clears throat> pardon me, so that um, I can acquire a better coverage. And I really do recommend that if you are new to alcohol inks and you have an interest to create something like I'm doing, um, that you do it by picking the paper up and um, manipulating where the inks go. Just don't expect perfection within five minutes. This has uh, taken me a total of a, just under an hour of completion. Um, of course, I have um, sped this up for time's sake for my YouTube video, but um, you have to just keep continue to work with it. It's a learning process, and it's not going to be perfect. Uh, my end product isn't perfect, but I was still very happy with it, and there was still a lot I learned from the process. 
And so don't be afraid. Just pick the ball up and run with it and um, it's how we learn. For this painting, I used my alcohol ink straight from the bottle. I did not dilute them with my alcohol initially, but you certainly can. Um, it will help your inks go further, but I, I really did use very little ink in the project. Um, I just wanted to experiment with these inks and see if with all of the additional fluids that I'm putting down, um, if I was going to be happy with the vibrancy of the colors and I was very pleased that the colors really did stay quite vibrant and beautiful. Traditionally, I have been a pinata user with just the occasional Adirondack ink, um, some Bria Reese, but mostly pinata um, until uh, Catherine Dreyer came out with these in her Color Joy line. And um, I'm so glad that she did because I've just been having a blast using them. You can't get this type of color, I don't think, from any other medium. Um, the vibrancy that, you're, that I get from these inks are just remarkable. I've just, they're just beautiful. The paper I'm using today is by Graphics. It's Graphics, I believe they call it craft paper. Uh, it's very, very similar to Yupo. Um, it is a plastic sheeting and it's relatively inexpensive. I believe I got 25 sheets for about $12 or $13 on Amazon. Um, and so I use this mostly when I am practicing, but I do feel like it's stable enough that uh, if you really wanted it for a piece of art, that it would be great. It would be fine. Um, I like it even more than Yupo, basically because it doesn't warp when heat comes on to it. I'm used to using the Yupo because of the gouache that I use and so um, I'm accustomed to how it behaves and 
um, have found that this paper is quite hardy. You can see as I pick my paper up the flecks of silver. And I like um, moving the silver around to create almost these uneven linear areas and in my design um, just that very thin line of metallic uh, is just so pretty to me. And so when this is done, I will seal it with um, Kamar varnish. I will give it about three or four coats and I will let them dry between coats. And then I'm going to also use um, a UV protectant over top of it. Probably about th three or four coats of it letting it dry in between as well. I usually use the polycrylic brand. And I did check with Catherine and the Kamar works perfectly fine over these inks for her. And so um, I'm just passing that information on. I will have uh, these inks listed. I purchased the entire set of them. She also has them where you can purchase them individually. Um, but they're very reasonably priced and uh, some alcohol inks get rather pricey, but I think these are very well worth the money. So here I'm just trying to create a little bit of a darker layer um, to try to give some depth to the piece. So you'll see me go in and add a couple of areas where I just want a little bit of a, a darker edge. You can see how I just kind of swirl the fluid around um, to try to convince it to go where I want it to go and do what I want it to do. And when I'm ready for it to stop moving, then I'll go ahead and head it with um, the air. So I'm trying to keep um, those dark edges, but also to maintain some darkness in the center. And 
this will help differentiate the petals of my blooms and continue to give that depth. I'd really appreciate it if you could um, leave me some feedback in the comments. Um, I'm so happy that you were here to um, watch me experiment with the alcohol inks from Dryer Days Art Studio and I hope that you will come back and um, consider subscribing to my channel. I have a lot of fun here. I am a multimedia artist, so I dabble some in acrylics, occasionally in watercolor, uh, but mostly in resin and acrylics and um, now probably alcohol inks. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook as Art by Tammy Lasseter, Pinterest, and TikTok. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.